Hi, Scorpio. So this is going to be your reading for the end of December. Of course, you can resonate with these messages at any time. So whenever you're called to watch this reading is when you're supposed to watch it. So the phrase that I was getting for you guys is sick and tired. So it could be sick and tired of somebody, a job, or maybe you're just tired, been working hard. I was getting that phrase for you guys. So probably the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is, it's like you're not giving up or somebody's not giving up, but things are getting hard right now. Maybe things are hard with you or with somebody else. You have the Devil card at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But um, I don't know, just feel like with this Devil, with the Knight of Wands, it's just maybe something that you just started is really hard. It could be school, a new job. But the advice here is to not give up on whatever it is. It could even be a relationship. So we do have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Can we done with the air sign? But I feel like this could be a miscommunication. You and somebody else could have a miscommunication of some sort. We do have the Ten of Swords. Somebody's feelings could have got hurt. I'm also getting, this could be an ending to something. Maybe you're considering ending something or maybe you already have. But I just feel like you're, you're fed up with something or somebody's fed up. What are the messages for Scorpio? Okay. You have the Nine of Cups, trying to get what you want. Or something that you're going for. Or I'm also getting if you don't give up on whatever this is, you could get what you want. You could be done with a fire sign, or Leo Sagittarius. Nine of Cups paired with the Nine of Pentacles. So this is whatever you were trying to do or accomplish, you have to do it yourself. So I'm really getting that here. You could have told somebody this, and maybe they you made them feel bad or they feel betrayed in some way because you said you need to do this alone or there's something that you want to do alone i'm also getting that if you guys are thinking this um maybe you haven't said anything yet because the knight of swords is in, re is in reverse so maybe you haven't said anything yet <clears throat> you could be trying to find a way to tell this person it's like because you know this is going to be a fight for the people that have told whatever this is it could be quitting a job whatever it is if you have told them they could feel hurt. If you haven't told them, you could know that they're going to feel hurt. You could be done with the fire sign. We do have the queen of wands here. You could be telling a boss this as well. Also getting Taurus. Some of you guys could deal with the Taurus. Could be a lover. We do have the lover's card here. So this could definitely be talking about a relationship. But I'm really feeling like you could know that there's something that you have to pursue alone. Yeah, Five of Swords. Yeah, you're planning success. Whatever this is, you're planning to be successful with whatever that you want to do. But someone's going to get hurt in the process. And I'm not, I feel like it's not you. Why is the Page of Wands here? Yeah, the Tower. Whatever you're starting is going to completely change your life and I feel like for the better but I'm also getting with a relationship we have the high priest here which is kind of like the higher font in this deck if you're in a relationship this is com com going to completely change the foundation of that relationship I'm also getting with the tower you could be getting some sort of unexpected offer it's almost like you could be getting an offer of a job you can only go alone you're in a relationship and you have to move across the country so it's like there's something that you know you have to do or you know that is going to be beneficial for you but it's like whoever this is with you is going to feel heartbroken. But it's like you know you have to do it or you know you want to do it. I found a nine of wands. Okay. Yeah. Could be done with the fire sign. He definitely could be in a marriage. We have the king and queen of wands here. <clears throat> you could be um, pursuing a fire sign or somebody could want to pursue you. But I'm really getting that you could be getting <coughs> promoted. Or there could be a business that you're starting that, I don't know, yeah, you have to tell your partner something. You could be pursuing somebody else or vice versa, but I'm kind of getting, this could be work-related or something that you're doing, work, money-wise, uh, making your dream come true. Literally, Knight of, or Knight of Cups is wish fulfillment. You have an opportunity to do something that you've wanted to do, but you can't take this person with you. So yeah, miscommunication with whoever you're dealing with. I'm also getting that you could be getting an offer of some sort and somebody feels upset about that. Somebody feels betrayed. But I don't feel like this offer is romantic. It could be, 
but it feels more with, along the lines of wish fulfillment and like money. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Scorpio? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, you could be dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Somebody's hurt. And I'm also getting you could be beating around the bush. You're taking a long time to tell this person this, or vice versa. Clarify the Knight of Cups. I'm also getting that you and this person could have been in a relationship for a very long time. Okay. Yeah, there's a new opportunity. Clarifying the Ace of Cups we have, or the Nine of Cups we have, the Ace of Wands. This is a brand new opportunity, a brand new beginning, and I'm, it feels very business. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Even if you're not going anywhere, this could just be something that you know you have to pursue alone. Or maybe even want to pursue alone. You could be going back to school of some sort. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. I'm also getting a trip. You could be going on a trip somewhere, and it's like a one-person trip. Okay, so with the Nine of Pentacles here, we have justice. This is something that you deserve. Whatever this opportunity is, you absolutely deserve it. So this is a gift, really, from the universe. But it's like you have to sacrifice something. It could be a relationship. It could be making a relationship long distance. It could be another job, whatever it is. There's some sort of sacrifice that you have to give. Clarify, okay. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Okay, yeah. Ace of Pentacles. There is something big. Some sort of big offer. And this has to do with money. <clears throat> I'm also getting room and board. Like, you could be getting an all expense paid something. Hmm. Like, whatever it is, it's amazing. But it's like you have to give up whatever. <clears throat> Clarify the lovers. I don't like that. I just thought about this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, five of cups. This is, yeah, you're, whoever you're dating is going to be very upset. But I was thinking about, I was thinking about that devil I saw earlier. That could be manipulation. So it's almost like this person could be like, well, wouldn't you rather be with me? Or everything that we've built, is that just for nothing? It's like a very manipulative energy knowing damn well this is a wish for you that is coming true. But it's like, it feels very selfish. So I feel like with this Justice card, is to really see shit for what it is and to take this Ace of Pentacles. Like if the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Pentacles, this is a gift from the universe that you've asked for and now it's here. And I feel like it's coming in the form of money. I'm also getting game show. Maybe some of you guys are going on a game show. I don't know, winning the lottery. Like there's, it feels very big. Like, and it feels money, but you can't have this person along with you. Let's see, clarify the Five of Swords. Clarify the Five of Swords. Okay, damn. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Clarifying the Five of Swords. This is... I'm really feeling like this person's going to try to keep you in this connection. Hmm. No, no, it's like everything could be fine until you get this offer. And then it's like they take their mask off and they completely switch. They're not happy for you at all. Like, I don't know. It's like you could be really seeing this person's true intentions. You could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Hello. What is the advice for Scorpio? What is the advice for Scorpio? Okay. Yeah, the Empress. It's like, take your opportunity because it's going to lead you right here. The Empress is very abundant she's a creator so it's like you could be getting an investment to pursue whatever you want to pursue <clears throat> whatever this is take it because this is literally something that you've asked for maybe a long time ago or a dream that you've had for a very long time it's here or this is the stepping stone to getting there from um, the investment that you need to get there whatever it is take it even if you have to let this person down or leave this person leave this place leave your friends whatever it is so anyway Sorry if I sound weird, I'm sick as hell. I hope that this was a good reading for you, Scorpio. If you would like a personal reading, there's information down below on how you could get one and enjoy the rest of your month.